Welcome to today's discussion on RT-PCR and CT values with Dr. Shobha. You must have heard the term RT-PCR several times during this pandemic and you know that it is a gold standard test in the diagnosis. What's the difference between PCR and RT-PCR? PCR detects DNA viruses and RT-PCR is done to detect RNA viruses such as the SARS-CoV-2 virus. You may have also heard about the CT value in the PCR result. While some people say it is important to know the CT value, others argue that it does not correlate with severity of the illness. Let's first understand what PCR is. PCR amplifies a segment of DNA into two copies, then two into four, four into eight copies, etc. and identifies the amplified product which is usually tagged with a fluorescent dye. So a fragment of the gene could be a live virus or a dead one and obviously a positive PCR of a person carrying a dead virus would mean that the person is not infectious. The threshold cycle at which you start detecting the virus is called the CT value. It is the intersection of the curve with the threshold line and is a relative indicator of viral load, not absolute. For example, if you detect the virus in a sample after 20 cycles, it is called a CT value of 20. Let's say sample A has a CT value of 20 and sample B has a CT value of 30. What it simply means is that there is a higher viral load in sample A as compared to sample B. After some days into the illness, as the viral load decreases, the CT value of both patients will increase. PCR starts becoming positive on the third or fourth day of illness, sometimes three to four days even before the onset of disease and declines by the third week by which time antibodies appear. PCR tests are used to directly detect the presence of the virus, which is the antigen in the early stages of the disease. The antibodies which are produced by the body's immune response can be detected later on. CT values can vary depending on several factors. As you can see here, sample collection is not a pleasant experience and if the patient does not cooperate during the test, it can result in low viral load being detected and therefore high CT values. A high CT value should not give you a false sense of security and make you think that you don't have the virus. It may not correlate with the severity of illness. The site of sampling is also important. For example, nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal samples from the same person can have different viral loads. Also, the amount of virus can vary at different times even on the same day. The site of sampling may not be a true representation of the amount of virus that is actually causing the disease. It also varies by the kit used in testing, which antigen is used in that particular kit, its cutoff value, calibration of equipment, etc. Since there were many kits available in the market, we used to hear of some people having tested positive on one day and negative on another. So to correlate with disease severity, the kit should be the same, true site sampling must be done, tests must be done by a competent person, the stage of disease is also to be considered and also the patient's immune state. Some patients with low viral load may trigger a strong immunological response and suffer severe disease and complications. Remember here that the patient dies not because of the virus but because of the immunological response that is triggered by the patient to the virus. The value also depends on the temperature at which the sample is transported and kept, which should ideally be minus 4 degrees until it is tested in the lab. PCR test can remain positive for 3 months. After a patient recovers from the illness, he may cough up fragments of the dead RNA from his lungs, so if a PCR is done, it will be positive as it can amplify dead fragments and detect it. As I told you, a positive PCR test does not necessarily indicate the presence of an active viable virus and therefore should not be taken as a case of reinfection. So in such cases, the patient is neither infective nor transmits a disease during this time. Hence to conclude, CT values should not be taken as absolute numbers and interpretation of these values must be correlated with the clinical condition of the patient. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, click the like button and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more such updates. Stay healthy, happy and safe with precautions.